Hey there, it's Yobo. Welcome back to day 280 of life according to Yobo. No mess, no stress, no BS. I'm on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. You can always do it the old fashioned way and email me. Yolanda Bozot at Yahoo.com. I appreciate you coming back for another episode of Life According to Yobo. We're in a series entitled, I Know How to Act Like a Lady Yobo, but you got to help me think like a man. Mm -hmm. That's what we are talking about. We just finished chapter one of my book that I wrote nine years ago, never published it, but some good stuff in here about relationships. We're about to go into chapter two, but I want to take today and just recap chapter one because, ladies, I want to make sure you understand. If you missed any of these videos, go back to about day 275, 276, where we begin this series. Uh, lesson number one was remember. How do I think like a man? First thing you do, ladies, remember, you're the shot caller. Uh-huh, you are the big baller. Uh-huh. If you ain't running things in your relationship, you doing something wrong. Baby, let me tell you one thing for sure. Yobo running things up in here. Yobo is running things up in my relationship because the law is on my side. Just like the law is on your side. You, The police believe you. Pick up the phone and call right now and tell a lie. My husband knocked me upside the head. They would go to his job and arrest him. That's how much power we have, ladies. But we have to learn to use it to our advantage. We don't belittle the man. We don't get up in his face. Yeah, I'm the shot caller. I'm the big baller. No. Got to make them think that they running things. Men want to be the hero. That's why I always praise my husband. You praise them publicly. Oh, they like that. You don't tell them at home. Babe, you're such a good man. You want no I'll do that. I got to wait till I'm in a crowd. And I got to say he's such a wonderful man. And he is. I ain't tell no lie. He is. But ladies, we got to use our power wisely. We don't let no brother run up on us with no okie doke. It's the main thing I want you to remember. Ignore everything a man told you. Mm -hmm. Ignore everything. Focus on what he showed you. I learned that one from my son. When I'm telling you how to think like a man, these, uh, this is all stuff I learned from men. Ignore what he told you. Baby, you know, sweetheart, I want you to be my baby mama. I want you to be my wife. Okay, is he telling you that as he's driving to his mama's house? Or is he telling you that as he's removing your underwear? Because if you ain't met his mama, he ain't took you to Zales, or at least buy a ring off eBay, or get a ring out the bubblegum machine. If he has not made an appointment or told you to make an appointment, and the two of you went to meet with your pastor, and y'all got a wedding day set, he ain't done none of that. But he telling you, you know I want you to be my wife. Ignore what he told you. Is this joker doing anything? anything that's leading up to marriage. Have you met any of his family? Okay, if this is January and y'all been together since last June, you didn't go to Thanksgiving dinner? You didn't go to Christmas dinner? His auntie died and he didn't invite you to the funeral? But he want you to be his wife and he want you to be his baby mama? And you steadily run around telling everybody he's your fiance and you ain't put a, he ain't put a ring on it. Oh, by the way, my husband put two rings on it. One of my little devilish niece, remember I was talking about people and saying, I don't understand how people have their little kids, their little kinfolk in foster care. And I told you I took one of mine out of foster care. Woo, we couldn't wait to put our little butt back in. Well, when she came to my house, I had a wedding ring. But see, I gained a little weight and the ring wouldn't fit. So I had it in my jewelry box. But when she left, my wedding ring was gone. My class ring was gone. I didn't say she took it. I just said it was there when she came and it was gone when she left. So my husband did put a ring on it. Then he put a second ring on it. But what he did was he remembered 
than when we first got married. He bought me a size five and a half ring. Trying to be slick. He goes out and buys me a ring, size five and a half, which I can't do nothing with the thing but put it in the drawer because I can't fit it. So, if he ain't put a ring on it, even bought you a ring too small, he ain't put a ring on Child, that is game. Listen, <laughs> game recognize game up in here. Everything I'm telling you, Lessons yo bo learned the hard way. There ain't no reason for you to get played. I'd have been played enough for me and you and your kids and your grandkids. I'm telling you everything yo bo done learned the hard way. Listen to yo bo, yo baby, yo bo telling you the truth. You the shot caller, you the big baller. Ignore what he told you. Focus on what he showed you. I'm at six minutes. Um, the church men. Looking for a Christian man. He saved. Woo! When the man would first day he says he saved, you better start running. You best to start running. Let me tell you something. I would take a brother out the club before I take one out to church. At least the one coming out the, the club, I know what I'm working with. Brother coming out to church, you treat him the same way you treat everybody else. You better you better look at what he showed you, not what he told you. Just because when the organ's going, do, 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 he can get up and he can dance all over the church. Honey, I can get me one from the club. We go to the Frankie Beverly and Mays concert, and when, and when Frankie get to singing, he can get up, he can dance just as well. Don't fall for that church. Oh, don't fall for the church okie doke. And you ladies that's dating these divorced men, hold on a minute. I'm on page seven, and I got 63 pages. Let me see if I talk. Well, I don't want to jump ahead of myself. Let me see. Look for, uh, oh, you're not the marrying kind. <laughs> Ooh, it's some good stuff in here. Let me read you some of this stuff. Uh, okay. He not the marrying kind. Take the path of least resistance. When it's over, let it be over. Let me see if I stick with the facts. Uh, don't ask what he think about you. Ooh, don't chase him. Replace him. Child, there's some good stuff in here. Okay, I don't see it in here. But you ladies, there's dating these uh, men in relationships and married men, and you focusing on what he told you. He don't like his wife. She don't understand me like you understand me. I'm going to leave her. You better get that joker. His walking papers. Let me tell you something about the woman on the side. Women on the side, they always going to be the women on the side. Rarely does a man leave his wife for the other women, other woman. I have seen it happen. Let me tell you something about Yobo. I will date a married man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I will date. I mean, you know, I'm married now, but I'm just talking about, you know, stuff where people say, girl, I would never do that. You don't know what you would do. But let me just say, I would date a married man. You know, if I'm just out there just silly. Yes, I would. But I'm going to tell you what I would not do. You know, when I tell you, you got to have your non-negotiables. I wouldn't marry no joker that I was messing around with. Because when he go to the store to get some milk, because I'm making some Jiffy cornbread and I'm out of milk. And he get a flat tire for real. And he come home. 20, 30 minutes late, I'm going to be at the dome. That little skillet, that black iron skillet that I was going to bake the cornbread in, it's going to be in my, man, I'm going to be standing up like this, wait for him to come through the door. But he really did have a flat tire. See, when you mess around with a married man or a man in a relationship and you think one day you're going to be the wife or be the main one, you ain't going to trust him. You ain't, you, he ain't going to trust you either. Y'all best to listen to your Don't be messing with nobody, man. Don't be messing with nobody's man, baby. Because look at here. Like my mama say, one, get the honey, and one, get the money. My mama already told you about that. She said, when you get through with you, he coming home. That's what mama said. Lord, I'm at 10 minutes. I need to shut my mouth. Come back for day 281. We're going to start lesson number two in I know how to act like a lady, but how do I think like a man? Life according to Yobo, it's tight, boo, but it's right. All right, come back tomorrow. Bye-bye.